Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Blue and Gold Staff Appreciation. We are here today to say thank you to each and every one of you for all of your hard work throughout the year. Now, typically for this event, we gather annually for a delicious lunch on campus. However, since this year has been anything but normal, and we are unable to gather due to the ongoing pandemic and the restrictions that are in place, we still wanted to take the opportunity to recognize all of your hard work over the past 12 months. Now, before we start the official program, I do wanna let you know that we will be playing a Kahoot trivia game a little later in the program for a chance for you to win a $50 Tim Hortons gift card. At this time, please welcome Director of Athletics and Recreational Services, Mike Haiti, to bring greetings on behalf of the department. Greetings. 2021 has been a year that we will not soon forget. We're gathered virtually to celebrate the contributions of student staff during this most difficult of years. I believe that the following quote from the late American philosopher and psychologist, William James, sums up why it's important for us to celebrate. As James noted, the deepest principle in human nature is the craving to be appreciated. And so we gather to celebrate and to say thank you to each and every one of you for all that you have done to facilitate and energize our programs and to keep us relevant during a difficult time. To our student employees and to our ARS staff who select, direct, train, and mentor these young men and women, you've made all the difference in the world. Thank you and go Lancers. Thank you, Mike. And now, on behalf of the Department of Athletics and Recreational Services, we would like to present the Lancer Leader Award, which is awarded to graduating student employees who have gone above and beyond the call of duty, who have served in a variety of leadership capacities and dedicated a number of years to athletics and recreational services. Our Lancer Leader Award recipients are Drew McClenahan, Katerina Toms, Eva O, Andrew Papadopoulos, Stephen O'Donnell, Caitlin Guernsey, Sophie Oso, Renee Goodman, Jessica McCormick, Taylor Cooley, and Ali Hogel. Congratulations, Lancers. And now, as promised, it is time to play Kahoot. Please log in on your phone at kahoot.it and enter the code 4426747. I will now pass it off to Julia Burrill, our intramural coordinator who will host the game. Thank you, Elisa. I'm gonna just share my screen here. Can you all see that okay? Yes, Julia, it's great. All good? Okay, perfect. So I'll give you all a chance to get your names in. As Elisa mentioned, a $50 Tim card is on the line. And the topic of the Kahoot is actually uh, trivia on our brand new Lancer Center coming very soon. I don't want to give away any of the answers of the questions, but We've got seven questions total. Give about 10 more seconds here. If anybody's joining late, make sure you get those names in. All right, we've got 19 people in. Well, let's get started.
When did the Lancer Center construction begin? Seems like a while now. It's currently going on, even though we're not in person, but when did it actually begin? November 2019, so most of you remembered, very good. So for those of you that are not familiar with Kahoot, you're gonna get points for answering correctly, but also answering quickly. So keep that in mind. Question number two, when is the projected completion date? May 2022, just about a year from now. So very exciting. We've got, oh, Teresa lost her top spot. We've got Allison in the lead now. On to question number three. True or false? This is the largest student contribution to any university in Canada. The answer is true. Very good. It is the largest student contribution. And Allison keeps her spot at the top. Moving on, the new Lancer Center will not include, will not include. You got 15 seconds total to answer, but as I said, the quicker you are, the more points you get. It will not include a six lane pool. It will actually include an eight lane pool. So that was a bit of a trick question there. Allison's still at the top, some shuffling below. On to question five, how many spectators will the new triple gymnasium seat? You can see a picture there as well of what it will eventually look like. Two thousand seats in the new triple gymnasium. Nine of you got that correct. Well done. Allison is on a roll here. Is anyone gonna be able to take her down? Only a couple questions left. Question number six, which pre-existing areas will receive an expansion and renovation? So that's areas of our, our current building. The field house and natural grass fields will also receive an expansion and renovation. Very good. Oh, and Allison loses her top spot in the second last question. We have Andrew at the top going into the last question. How many square feet is the new fitness center? All on the line here for question number seven. Pretty cool picture there as well, showing you the new fitness center. Six people get this one correct. We have 13,000 square feet for the new fitness center. Drum roll, here we go. In third place, we have AT. I'm not sure who AT is, but good job. Allison in second. And our winner is Andrew. Congratulations, Andrew, very well done you will be receiving a $50 Tim card. Um, I believe maybe Elisa can get in touch with you after this is completed, but thank you all for participating. And I hope you're as excited about the new Lancer Center as we are. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Thank you, Julia. And congratulations, Andrew. We will be in touch to make arrangements to get you your $50 Tim Hortons gift card. And now we would like to present our next award, the Lancer Recreation Employee of the Year. This year's Lancer Recreation Employee of the Year is 
Lydia Jane Thus. Please welcome Lancer Recreation Coordinator, Sandra Andraka, to say a few words about Lydia. Leadership is about being willing to take the initiative to show a team how things ought to work or how things could be improved. Leadership is being capable of adapting to changing situations, being a problem solver and being skilled enough to lead others through daily struggles with a smile. Having the leadership of Lydia on her team allowed Lancer Rec and the Forge Fitness Centre to adapt to the pandemic and all the unexpected hurdles. She was integral in providing an immediate and effective response to the delivery of our fitness services. Her optimistic attitude refreshed our tired minds, provided new perspectives on how to adapt to unforeseen complications, and allowed for a seamless transition of our fitness facilities into the field house and our fitness services into the virtual world. Having the leadership of Lydia on our team guaranteed deadlines were met, goals achieved, and assured us that she would do whatever it would take to help Lancer Rec succeed during a unique time and rally others to follow her lead. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you, Sandra, and congratulations again, Lydia. At this time, we would like to take a moment to recognize a member of the Lancer staff who has made a number of contributions to the St. Dennis Center over the last year. This year's St. Dennis Center Employee of the Year is Rachel Stone. Congratulations, Rachel. And now, please welcome Trevor Dinham, Facility, Equipment, and Events Technician, to say a few words about Rachel. I'm thrilled to recognize Rachel with this award. We've been very fortunate to have her on our staff for the last two years. And in that time, she's proven herself to be dependable, trustworthy, and always willing to step in when we need her. Um, you know, she's worked the early mornings. She's stayed late at night. She's been with us during our busiest of times and been the lone soul in the building when we needed her to stand guard. Rachel, we appreciate all that you've done for us, taking care of our house at the St. Dennis Center. We've enjoyed working with you and I'm proud to have you as a member of our Lancer family. Congratulations. Thank you, Trevor. Now with the lack of varsity home events this year, the focus on the athletics side of the house shifted to keeping our fans and community engaged. And that we did. From podcast to game shows, it felt like we did it all. And at this time, we would now like to present the winner of the Lancer Engagement Award to Connor Sykes. Please welcome Marketing and Sponsorship Coordinator, Mona Sleeman, to say a few words about Connor. Whether it's the music he selects or the action shot he includes or the special effects he incorporates, no one can evoke emotions through video like Connor Sykes. The thrill of victory, the agony of defeat, the tears of joy, the quest to be stronger, faster, better, the compassion behind hashtag Lancers for anti-racism, the inner drive to stay motivated and the bond of our Lancer family. Connor's videos capture all of these emotions and more. Thank you, Connor, for capturing and displaying our blue and gold blood, sweat, and tears. You are truly the unsung hero of our team. Thank you and congratulations, Connor. Thank you, Mona. And again, congratulations, Connor, on an award well-deserved. Our next award is for Outstanding Customer Service. This year's Outstanding Customer Service Award recipient is Lauren Rogers. Congratulations, Lauren, and please welcome back Sandra Andraka to say a few words. Little did I know when I recruited Lauren on move-in day into residence that she would become an important cog in the inner workings of Lancer Rec. The need to engage our students in campus community during the pandemic led to the creation of our social media platform called Lancer Rec Connect. The hard work, creativity, and hidden talents of Lauren brought this idea to life. An employee always does their utmost to ensure key tasks are completed correctly, on time and within the constraints of the environment is a treasure. Finding people who are willing to go above and beyond is not easy. Lauren quietly worked behind the scenes to provide a unique and engaging social media experience every day, from Tasty Tuesdays to Black History Month. Lauren has built a reputation for herself for getting things done. 
She is always willing to put in the extra hours and to undertake new challenges to support the water goals of Lancer Rec. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Sandra. Up next is the Lancer Recreation Instructional Award. Please join me in congratulating this year's Instructional Award recipient, Bella Mancina. To say a few words about the outstanding work Bella did this year, please welcome Aquatics and Summer Camp Coordinator, Olivia Binder. Bella joined the Lancer Rec team as a result of her involvement with the Lancer Competitive Dance Team. The abrupt end of the classes, clubs, and leagues left many of our student leaders unable to do what they normally do. Being able to lead a team is one thing, but being able to engage with team members and collaborate on new and unique initiatives is a skill that Bella brought to Lancer Rec. Bella's energy and enthusiasm was contagious in the many virtual classes she taught, including dance, stretch and strength, and body bar. In addition, Bella was also involved in our Lancer Summer Virtual Programs, engaging community youth in fun dance and activity-based classes. Throughout all the ups and downs of this pandemic, Bella was dependable. Being dependable is about more than showing up on time and teaching a class. Dependability is about the general attitude, willingness to contribute, and flexibility to fulfill the needs of the workplace with skills and resources that are not always in your job description. Anyone can show up. What you want are people who really take part in the challenges of the day. Bella is that person. Congratulations on being this year's Instructional Award winner. Thank you, Olivia. And again, congratulations, Bella. Now, not only did the pandemic force our varsity sports off the playing field, but it also affected the thousands of students who participate annually in our intramural program. However, this, is one, this one individual did an amazing job helping the department pivot into the esports world and grow our virtual program throughout the year. This year's Intramural Employee of the Year is Mitchell Ben. Please welcome Intramural Coordinator Julia Burrill to say a few words about Mitchell. Mitch was essential in helping us get our first ever Intramural Esports League started. He worked so hard during some unprecedented times working virtually, and he was always there when we needed him. Mitch, I just want to say thanks for all of your hard work this year, and congratulations. Thank you, Julia. Now up next is our fitness award. Like intramurals, all of our Lancer Recreation Fitness classes moved online, and that transition wouldn't have been made possible without the hard work of this individual. This year's Fitness Employee of the Year is Cam Rio. Congratulations, Cam, and please welcome back Sandra Andraka to say a few words. Cam started her initial career in the Forge as a personal trainer and instructor of group fitness classes. As an employer, one of the things we often overlook when hiring someone for a role is how that job might evolve over time. We're hired to meet the immediate need rather than the evolutionary change in that potential position. COVID created an abrupt change in what and how we would offer fitness services, and Cam took that challenge on without looking back. Fortunately for Lancer Recreation, when you have an employee like Cam that has the initiative to grow and change as the environment changes, you are able to adapt and grow the organization as well. Cam successfully moved our in-person fitness services into the virtual world. Lancer Rec workouts of the week, health and wellness education, and so much more rolled out through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and even TikTok. Cam is a detailed-oriented employee. She was able to balance the little details, key details, and big picture focus of what we wanted to accomplish through our virtual platform to successfully engage our campus community. One quality that is often overlooked of a good employee is being humble. Having a team player like Cam, who is willing to share the glory as well as shoulder the work, is an incredible asset. As much as she was behind the scenes and all that campus recreation offered virtually this year, she was very much at the forefront of our success. Thank you, Cam. Thank you, Sandra. And finally, our final award of the day, the Rick Mallott ARS Student Employee of the Year. The Rick Mallott Award recognizes the qualities of an exceptional employee that were demonstrated by Rick himself. Hardworking, honest and trustworthy, a strong work ethic, problem-solving abilities, 
ambitious, dependable, reliable, and responsible, and knowing the why, as well as the what, when, and how. And this year, ladies and gentlemen, we have two winners who, without a doubt, showcase all of these attributes. Our first winner of the Rick Mallott Employee of the Year is Teresa Fountain. Congratulations, Teresa. And please welcome back Olivia Binder to say a few words about her. Teresa has held a number of positions with athletics and recreation over her time at the University of Windsor. Customer service, concessions, facility supervisor, Lancer Rec program supervisor, Lancer summer camp supervisor, special events staff, and just about everything in between. The best leaders bring out the best in those around them. Being able to inspire coworkers, participants, and community partners towards new and creative initiatives is a skill that Teresa demonstrates. Teresa's personal values always align with those of athletics and recreation, allowing her to support and work towards our common goals. The Rick Mallott Award highlights vital components of professionalism, and true professionalism is a manner of being. Professional people carry themselves with pride, remain calm in a crisis, can communicate with all people without being reactive, and are accountable for their actions with colleagues at all levels. Regardless of her role on any given day, month, or year, whenever Teresa wears the blue and gold, she always demonstrates her unending regard for professionalism. Congratulations to Teresa on being awarded the Rick Mallott Award, and thank you for everything you've done for athletics and recreation. Thank you, Olivia. Our second co-winner of the Rick Mallott Award is Kaylee Teos. Please welcome Mona Sleeman back to say a few words about Kaylee. Whether it's behind a Zoom screen, on a mic in front of hundreds of fans, or in a one-on-one -on -one interview, this individual captures attention of others with her voice, presence, knowledge of sport, and confidence. Kaylee Theos is literally a force. Her commitment to all facets of sport, on and off the field of play, are second to none. She has a constant thirst for sport industry knowledge and does everything in her power to use her knowledge to compel our Lancer fans to stay engaged. She lives, breathes, and eats Lancer sports, and we are so proud to have her as part of our Lancer team. Thank you, Kaylee, for all that you do, and congratulations. Thank you, Mona, and congratulations again, Teresa and Kaylee. I would now like to take this opportunity to thank each of you for joining us today. Please note that as they do every year, all of our award winners will receive a trophy recognizing their achievement. We should be receiving these shortly and we will connect with you about delivery when we can. On behalf of the Department of Athletics and Recreational Services, we wish you all a happy and safe summer.